Maniacs, welcome back to the channel, your local bedhead here. We are going to be diving into more Sam and Colby reacts. I thank you guys for waiting on me. I, to be honest with you, last night, the first thing you should know about me is that I, uh, I, I sort of film on spot and I post like right there that day after I'm done filming and editing. So I really don't schedule things out. I normally just post. Recently, with all this stuff going on in my life, buying the house, filming YouTube videos, and then work, and then of course my at home life there's just been a lot on my shoulders lately and i'm just been stressed out i th these are things i've just started diving into that i'm not necessarily used to i i've never bought a house before i've never had to talk to a lawyer about getting a land contract it's just a lot of stuff that's on my mind right now and last night i gotta be honest i was filming a couple videos and i just went completely almost brain dead like in other terms i my mind just went blank, and I just sat there staring at the camera because I didn't know what to say. I was, and I slept for most of the day today, and I gotta tell you, it felt great. It, it felt legitimately beautiful. I'm so glad I did that. And again, I'm sorry. I, I love keeping up with the channel, I really do. But sometimes when you have so much going on all at once, it's best to just take a moment, take a sit back. Those people are gonna be there no matter what. People who watch your channel are gonna be there. And that's something I always seem to un underestimate is I always think if I don't post, people are just going to start leaving. And again, if you like this type of content and want to see this content continue, get this video over 100 likes. For every video that you like, like if it's Sam and Colby, if it's Project Fear, if it's Overnight, if it's... It don't matter. Get it over 100 likes and I will continue to react to those channels. I genuinely love reacting to these guys. Truly do. Um, there has been a lot of controversy lately, whether you want to look it up or not, there has been, uh, just looking at the way these guys have answered certain questions about certain things revolving around a certain couple we are all very much aware of. There has been a lot of those moments, and it's unfortunate because you really wish these guys would acknowledge more of the debunking community, which again is essential to the paranormal community. You have to have debunkers and you have to have investigators. They have to work together. We wish that some of these guys would give more credit where credit's due. I'm a small channel. But I still give credit where credit's due, as much as I possibly can. You wish you would get more of that stuff from the big dogs of the of the community, but you just don't. You just don't. And it's unfortunate. It really is. But let's go ahead and dive into the video, guys. I'll give you guys my thoughts during and, of course, after the video. And I also should mention, too, that I have been out in the woods around 3 in the morning, and I have experienced things that I truly cannot explain. So when it comes to the forest and spirits and ghosts, and look, you have to keep in mind, too, that... When you're out in the woods in the middle of the night, there's a lot of stuff, even in the day, there's a lot of stuff that happen out in the woods that can tamper with the evidence of paranormal investigating, which is one of the reasons why squirrels could be running up trees, twigs could fall off trees, branches could fall, leaves could be blowing, animals could be walking over leaves, crunching them. I mean, and, and people automatically assume that as paranormal when it's like late at night and stuff. And it's like, what could that be? It's like, well, you guys are out in the middle of the woods. Uh, there could be a breeze. I mean, it's just... There's so much that tampers with it. What's up, guys? It's Sam, Sam and Colby. Colby. Today, we're going to be reacting oh, to the scare. Oh, my God. Is this the first time they've actually changed out clothes on this channel? Normally, on their reacts channel, they've been wearing the same clothes. Now, they're they're changed. That's that's new. That's new. Hell, yeah, guys. Hell, yeah. Okay, so they must have ran out of the older videos. I assume, like, they filmed all of those older videos in, like, one day or, like, like one week's time. Or they just chose to wear the same clothes for obvious reasons. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what their, you know, creative decision-making is, but... They changed clothes. Everything seen by campers in the middle of the woods. You might be wondering, where the hell are we? Guys, we're in an Airbnb. Chill the hell out. And why are we wearing different clothes? It's because we don't shower. Let's get started. It's because we don't shower. And your hair is like, always looking clean. Call and response. Hello? Mm. Yep, get the air. Oh. Wow. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember that? this. I actually, I think this was on a Nukes Top 5 video recently. Yeah, I remember watching this one. Yeah, it's pretty pretty unsettling stuff. Oh, my God. Wait, they actually seemed, like, very, very scared. That was genuine. Very. They obviously started filming for a reason. Like, they probably heard something before. That's why they filmed. It sounded like a little girl was down there, and you could obviously tell the guys talking. They were, like, full-grown dudes. Hello? That was very believable. Wow. 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 Family stalked by wow. entity. Oh my god, nobody is gonna ever believe this. Where is it? It's in the back. See his giant head? Alright, we're going, we're oh. going back inside. 
As you can see, oh, a bizarre tall wait, figure wait, wait. can be seen standing right behind a shed. Oh my dude. god! Holy shit! You're that's out scary. in the middle of the woods, and there's this dude spying on you. Whether or not that's a cryptid, whether that's a ghost or a deer or a dude. I'm shooting. Would you rather be followed by a ghost or a human? Let's know. Cattleman stalking family. Um. Well, the fact of the matter is, you could be being followed by a ghost anytime without even noticing it. But a human, it could be different. I mean, that person could have really bad intentions. So, definitely a ghost. In the forest. Is that me? Pissing it down. Pissing it down in the kind rain. Kind of the same hair. I've seen that one. I swear, are these, I think these guys are watching a Nukes Top 5 video because these are all on a Nukes Top 5. I'm not sure if they're the same ones, but I feel like they're going through Nukes Top 5 vids. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just a montage I missed. Hey, but that head poking up in the background. Oh, little girls were trying to listen to the boy! Wait, oh! oh wait, what the... Oh! What the f*** was that? Oh, it's really scary! Also, why were the little girls interrupting their big brother while he's trying to shoot a YouTube video? They showed how little girls were trying to listen to the boy! Yeah, while well, he's trying to perfectly place his hands in the area where you can see the shadow figure <laughs> behind him. Yeah, it's like, shut up, little girl. Stop being a distraction so the perfectly placed shadow figure can pop up and down. I said the same exact shit. I said the same exact shit in my video. I'm like, but you know what's weird about it is that he's facing the camera over off in the direction of the shadow figure that ducks down. The shadow figure might not even be a person. It might be just CGI, and he added it in afterwards to duck down. It could be easily faked. Easily, easily, easily. A demon swimming under tubers? YouTubers? <laughs> YouTubers! <laughs> oh, what? The, oh, what the what fuck, the fuck is, that? is that? It's a mermaid. That's so scary! That is so scary! <laughs> Holy shit! But that could also be just like a dead person. <laughs> Which would even be scarier. I'm yeah. just saying though, why is it a demon? Yeah, I mean, it kind of looked like it was just like a skinwalker almost. I thought it was a mermaid. <laughs> don't got anything to say about I that? I don't, I don't. If I saw a mermaid, I'd actually love that. I would want it to take me down to its little lair. Show me Atlantis. Oh, okay. I don't think it's going to be as pleasant as a Disney okay. film. I'm not sure if it's going to be as pleasant as a Disney film would be. And you see, that's probably my issue with, here's the thing, man. Like a skinwalker almost. I thought. I mean, it kind of looked like it was just like a skinwalker. How can you even make it out uh, on what it is? It almost looked like a skinwalker almost. Almost. I thought it was a mermaid. I mean, obviously you can tell these guys are being sarcastic. I don't really have to like sit there and tell you whatnot, but that's probably the issue with. And even they pointed it out. And this is something that Sam McColby don't do nearly as much as Twin Paranormals does where Twin Paranormal seems they want to throw the demon card a lot, like the demon name a lot, and not always the case. I mean, I seriously wish people would save that term for when a demon actually does show up, or if we have actual physical proof of a demon actually being in that area. But instead, we get so many people using that term because they know it's good for clicks, that when certain things do happen with a demon, we're not even going to believe it. You ever heard of the boy that cried wolf? And I use this example a lot. Whenever a real demon is going to show up, we're just going to be so tired of that clickbait titling that we're not even going to bother clicking on it anymore because we just assume it's just not going to be a demon, but just an over-exaggeration. You get what I'm saying? Or worst case scenario, uh, the little box thing they use, the Spirit Talker app, just brings up the name or term demon, and they just assume that whatever they're talking to is a demon when that's not even the case at all. So you got to know what you're talking about before you start labeling things as what you think they are. Clearly not a demon. <laughs> don't got anything to say about I that? I don't, I don't. If I saw a mermaid, I'd actually love that. I would want it to take yeah, you down man. to a little lair. Show me Atlantis. Oh, okay. Show me a good new world down there. Okay. A spirit in the woods. No way. That's a deer. <laughs> that is a deer. Did you see that orb? I Did you see that butterfly? That was a butterfly. Oh my god, you oh, can wait. see the big mist. Oh. Wait, it almost looks like it's walking across though. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's like more believable that it wasn't edited, but like less believable that it's a ghost. It could probably just be a piece of dust or something. Like what if the deer was just straight farting in the woods? If you ever think you came across a ghost in the woods, maybe it was just a deer farting. Hikers find mm. tiny cryptid. Nice analysis. You know, I gotta give credit where credit's due. Nice little analysis. Yeah, you're right. I don't think that was paranormal at all. 
I just think that was a miss. Again, being outside in the woods, it's not crazy to think that there could be an, an ounce of smoke. I mean, literally someone could be burning trash, and smoke could be just passing through the woods. And then people will automatically assume that as a ghost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it could be a possibility. Not, you know, it's as possible for it to be that as it would be to be a ghost. So I'm just going to go ahead and believe that it was possibly either a fog or a smoke that was just in the woods at the time. And then it could have been just a camera malfunction, right? Huh? What is this? Oh. What is that? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought it was so much smaller, but those were massive eyes. Look at that. Oh my god. Like fat eyes. That looks like an owl. Yeah. Holy sh**. That actually was like really creepy. It wasn't making that noise too. If it was, then that's even 10 times creepier. No. 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 Drone footage of suspected skinwalker. So this video is going viral in Mexico. And basically this group of friends is camping and they can tell they're being hunted or stalked or something. Oh God. So they actually take their drone out and use thermal to follow it. Okay. Kind of looks like somebody on a pace walk and it looks like a walking trail. Drones have thermal on it? Change the vision of the drone to see the person. And this is what happened. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh my God. It oh, well, I'll, I'll tell you that right. I'll tell you this right now. That is creepy. It looks like a person. Apparently on thermo, it could be very much edited, by the way. Very, very edited. And more than likely, a thousand percent it is. But that still would be, because I, I, what I love to do in these videos is I like to put myself in those shoes. If I were to, like, actually be flying my drone up, and I look down and I see somebody on thermo walking on the trail, and I turn off it, turn it off, and I see a deer just sitting there looking up at it, that would, yeah, I'd shit my pants. Turn into a fucking deer! So you were right. If you see a ghost, it is a deer. I knew it. Deers are ghosts. And deers be farting. All the time. Straight farts. Straight farting. Dog sense creature in the backyard. Oh, I hate mm. this. When dogs are barking at a corner, that's terrifying. Oh. Was that Slenderman? Oh. This is also on Nook's top five. God. Why do you have the scary music? Oh my god. What the fuck is that? It's Slenderman. It's fucking Slenderman, dude. It's Slenderman. Somebody's playing Slenderman. They're looking for notes on trees. Are you guys scared of Slenderman? Should we go hunt no. for Slenderman? Subscribe right now and we're going to find Slenderman in our next video. Or... He's a creepy pasta story, guys. If you don't subscribe, Slenderman might slender on up your butthole. That was weird. <laughs> that was very strange. Hacker looking it's for not the strangest thing you guys have said. Whoa, my it look, look, look. After watching some of these most recent interview, it's cer certainly not the strangest things you guys have said. Mushrooms. Uh, there's one over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. like look at this mushroom. Yeah. Huh? I think it's time to go. I think it's time what? to go. What? You see, those videos started coming out so much. God, I'm such a party pooper at this point. But those videos started coming out so much where someone will go outside and late at night or whatnot, and then they'll add in a screaming sound effect. And then they'll, I, I, I could literally film one right now. I actually, as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and do it right now, actually, to give you guys an example. I'm sitting here talking, and and let's, what, what should I be talking about? Well, you guys know that the possibilities of a Grinch 2 were probably not going to happen. Jim Curry already said he was going to retire, and why the fuck would he actually come back if he already said that, you know, the makeup process for the Grinch was one of the worst experiences he's ever had? It, makes just, it just literally makes no sense on why he would want to... Okay, we're done here. You see what I mean? Like, it's it's not that difficult to put those together. It's just it's just not. And and s the certain screams they like to use are very common, specifically like in horror films. Even most of the time, screams that you just don't even think about being creepy, they'll just add in as the background because you won't even think that that's from a certain movie. They'll do their best, but if you're a movie fanatic and you've heard those screams before, you know exactly where they're from. Which is, it is a bummer because you really wish shit like that would happen in real life. Like, it would just add so much more creepiness creepy value to the videos but unfortunately with so many people just faking shit anymore you just don't even know what's real or not anymore and you just don't you just don't know what's real or not and it's a bummer man because 
I like that stuff. I, I like genuinely hearing and seeing people experience creepy shit. But for the most part, it's all just acted out. And it sucks. What? No way that's his response. Imagine you're in the middle of the woods and then you just hear <laughs> It's time to go. Like it's so casual. The creature invades <laughs> campsite. Thought someone's messing around with the rocks out there. Is he by himself too? Jesus. <laughs> Leave me alone. This is like my worst fear. Yeah. Being inside a tent and it's tr it's trapping you. Oh. Yeah, I've seen that video before. I thought so. I thought so. That did look like a deer. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a deer <laughs> trying to just get his head way. underneath. They like, huh? All ghosts are deer. We should make hoodies that are just all ghosts are deer. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> like, Holy fuck. Yeah, you oh. think we like run a company for merch or something? Yeah. That's weird. Cryptid scares off man surveying his property. <laughs> oh. What the fuck is that? Oh! Beautiful. Sounds like Velociraptor. It's like, it's like a zombie. Oh, ew. Yeah. Okay, okay, first off and foremost, it, it's fake because why the f would you turn your light off and then turn it back on to get a better look at it? I'd have been gone. Or more probably realistically, I probably would have been petrified. I probably wouldn't even be moving, but for the for some reason, this guy thought it would be a good idea to just turn my light on its face to let him know exactly that I'm standing right there. He kind of reminded me, that thing reminded me of those creatures from The Descent. You ever seen that movie? But if you have claustrophobia, you almost have to watch it. It is so dang nuts. In real life, I'd be, I'd just be petrified if I saw something like that. All right. Yeah, I get out. Why did that take him so long to run? I want to see yeah. one of those. Like, my goal in life is to see a cryptid. Really? Yeah. Like what? You know, those skinwalkers with their ass popped out like this one. Oh, la, la. I just want to see a goddamn deer. Like, if a human turned into a deer, I would be happy. Just do it for me. Potential Bigfoot trail cam sighting. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Well, that's insane. That's fucking crazy. What? How did somebody get that? <laughs> and was that an actual Bigfoot? I Trail think that was camp. Bigfoot. Comment down below if you believe that clip. Or if, was that just an ape? That would be a fucking tall <laughs> ape. <laughs> You'd be surprised, man. Some some of them can stand up pretty tall. About this is the unfortunate reality of those kind of things is that people are so aware. News coverage stories, they're so aware of how many people fake stuff that that's why they don't take it seriously anymore. Like, even if they are out there, and there's a part of me that really wants to believe it, how do we know it's real or fake? It's just, that's the problem, and we just allow that shit. We just allow fakery. And it sucks, man, because that's that's when we're not going to have any room for the real stuff when it comes in. So you're lurking on the side of the road. What'd you see? What? What's behind that? Oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, what the fuck? What are we looking at? Oh, it's behind the tree. Oh! Wait, 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 let's see that guy. <laughs> it's just like going like this behind the tree. It's like one of those guys that are playing hide and seek and you're like literally trying to hide behind a pole. Honestly, out of all of those, I think the most believable and scary one was the girl voice. Hello? The girl that one, voice. That I'd agree. I actually would agree with that. That one felt legitimate because of their reaction towards it. Like where they were actually, they didn't even care what they were saying. They were just like, yep, we're out of there. Okay. By far. I could buy All that. The other ones were deer. Yeah, I got to give credit where credit's due, though. They did change clothes this time around, but they were at a different location. So you know what? Give them, give them that. Give them that. And and you know what? Maybe maybe they don't shower. I don't know, man. I don't know what these guys do in their in their you know spare time. I, pretty good. I, I do like that they actually attempted to debunk some stuff. I they're probably as well. They're probably as good of debunkers as I am. Where it's like they don't necessarily do it all the time. But I do it when I can. If I think it's obvious, I do it. I would love to see more of that stuff. Again, one of the reasons why I'm so disappointed in them, because this is something they could have maintained. This is something that they could have been grasping onto as much as they possibly can. And, you know, you got to understand that being disappointed with somebody and hating on somebody are two completely different things. I don't hate Sam and Colby. I'm disappointed in their responses because I like these guys. And I want to see these guys do good. I want to see these guys come off as honest as possible. But when I see things like that, where people have given them so many reasons not to believe in Satori and Cody, so many reasons to the point where it's like most of those videos here on this little list that they had have less proof that of fakery than Satori and Cody do. Satori and Cody have all the proof in the world to be fake. And, and these guys still defended them. 
And I think that's where my frustration comes from because it's like, gosh, dang it, guys, you know, you're so much better than that. Like you, just, you really are. And I understand you were there in the room with them, and I understand that you, you know, you have that personal experience that we just don't have. But just calling out fakery for what it is, right? And you guys do claim that you are believers, but you're also skeptics. Well, if you're skeptics, you should probably do a better job at trying to prove what's real and what's not real instead of just saying that, well, I don't think we're supposed to know the answers because I think it's more special that way. Guys, um, it's been proven to be fake, all right? I, I do agree in a sense that there are some things in the unknown that probably will never be explained, and there certainly are things in the unknown. But when something's been proven fake and false, you should should really try to make, you know, you're coming off as professional ghost hunters. You guys got to really try to go the extra mile for your audience. I think you owe it to your audience to tell tell them what's real and what's not real. I mean, that would give you more credibility, and I think that would make you even more likable. This is why I'm bummed out, man. You got to understand, this is why I'm bummed out, because I, this was a good video. I actually liked this video more than their last one. Their last one hurt me, because it was just them breaking and damaging old toys. Yeah, about the whole story and Cody thing, because to me, it was just a giant con. There were going to be people out there who were going to go out and try to find, I mean, they've even said that people were trying to get Tori and Cody to do the method for them after that video. So people obviously bought into it and really bought into it. I was one of those people. I wanted them to do it for me. And I'm very much glad those debunkers came out and proved me wrong. I'm, I'm honest to God, man. I'm so fucking happy taking advantage of people's mindsets like that. It just doesn't fit. It doesn't suit me well. It doesn't feel good when I see that. It never does. So you don't want to be lied to. Nobody wants to be lied to. Not fun. That's all I'm going to say. Guys, let me know what you guys think down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Of course, go check out the original video, video by Sam and Colby. The video or video. Whatever you want to say. And I'll see you in the next one. Do take care.